The Last of Us, Endure and Survive. And yet, I think the show is starting to thrive. Welcome back to another exciting Geek Variants Breakdown. This will be The Last of Us, Episode 5, Endure and Survive. If you're already subscribed to the channel, you already know about the three of us. If you like this kind of content, be sure to do so. If not, hit a like button on your way out of the video. If you like the content, back-to-back natties and Will joining us for this call. Will, hit us with your quick thoughts for this episode. With your breaking now. What? All right. Quick thoughts for this episode. Uh, again, they do really well. Uh, this is where they start to, again, they started in episode three to diverge and start to do their own storytelling uh, from, away from the game. So we get more original characters, uh, again, like with Kathleen and the whole, you know, Kansas City, you know, resistance and stuff coming up. So it's nice way that they put all that together and just give us some more nice filler because you got to remember going playing through a lot of the games so that, that you're walking dodging stuff and just trying to get from point a to point b to complete your objective so this is a nice bit of storytelling in between uh one thing we'll say is that are definitely part of the game and everything that kind of transpires with them more or less has some differences but again they're still staying true to the game in the best way possible while still giving us some divergent paths so i'm happy Tony, your thoughts? Well, again, coming from somebody who's never even looked at the game or any of the gameplay, I will say that I'm liking the storytelling. That's what's hooking me the most. So I'm not, like, attached to any of the characters. They all can die. But I will say the unexpected deaths, like, I didn't think in this episode that a certain character was going to just turn into a monster and start fighting people. So I was like, I was shocked and pleasantly surprised by that. I will say that. That was something. Cause like the minute he was sitting up on the bed, you were just kind of like, all right, maybe he's just traumatized. Maybe. maybe right. I didn't know what deal. he was doing. He was just sitting there and he turned around. Ah! <laughs> it's like, oh, get her. <laughs> it's like, I mean, good honor for her to be able to get out of the room. And then the dad just hit survival instincts. All they did what he had to do. And then the reality of the situation just. First, first of all, what makes her think that she's just going to mix her blood with somebody else? I mean, I don't know if I would have sat there and took it because I don't know. I mean, it's the kid mentality. I mean, she, she's still trying to do what she can to help and make him feel better. More or less hope for the best. I think she kind of knew that ultimately wasn't really gonna Man, do it. I'd have smothered him in his sleep. You know how kids are hope beyond logic. I did that as a teenager. <laughs> the minute he went to sleep, yeah, <laughs> gone. And, hey, come in. What happened? I guess he died in his sleep. <laughs> it's like, why do you have any scratch marks on you? Don't worry about it. Complete I'm a man. You wouldn't have seen no scratch marks. I got long sleeve shirts. I'm good. You don't see those scratches on me, player. Because it's crazy how fast the infected have mutated. And do we even have a name for what that monstrous the tank. thing was called? I remember, like Clicker's the only thing that sounded to me. I can't remember what that thing was called in particular. Tank. Because he was but, just eating bullets. Oh, yeah. He was he was, <laughs> he was eating bullets. He he straight up did a Mortal Kombat fatality at the end of that. So I was happy. And you know, again, it worked out great. Again, you're telling like, hey, kids, kids die all the time, and then you know, Kathleen gets jacked up by a kid. It's kind of poetic. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. I kind of like that they did offer because none of that character was believable as a leader in any mentality. Because if you try to tell me that a Karen is going to be leading the resistance army. Nah. Wasn't she no like thing. a Karen to me? To she you? She screamed I... Karen. And I couldn't remove her from the character that she played on Two and a Half Men as Charlie Sheen's crazy stalker. You know, Rose. who like, since you speaking of separate it. Since you were speaking of great leaders, we're going to talk about The Walking Dead since you think this show is better. You know, the governor was a great leader. Kathleen was not a great leader. I mean, I'm just saying. Never just, watched it. <laughs> I watched one season for William. Years. William, I need you to watch it. 
Just but the first, just the first five seasons. That's it. <laughs> this show is probably one of the best video game to TV show adaptation. Period. And I keep hearing that. I hear it from everybody. It's not just one or two people. It's everybody that I talk to that I know that games comes out and saying this is beautiful. So I'm like, I'm gonna have to buy the games or steal them from Will. Uh, Will, can you think of any other video game to TV show, let alone movie adaptations that have panned out well? Um, it's like this. Uh, this is huge. the uh, game was was pretty good for what it was. Um, Ooh, Kirby. The- that was that was solid. Uh, I want to. I want to say Sonic did decent. I won't say it's like a true, a tried and true sort of beginning for just telling the story about a character and making it somewhat, you know, interesting to the fans and at least you know it garnered enough attention to do a second one, and the second one you know surpassed expectations. So I mean, I think that they're getting into a realm right now where they're doing these really well. In terms of actually paying attention to the fans, paying attention to the source material, and coming up with some stuff, but Last of Us still takes the top spot right now, and it's only what five episodes in, and mm-hmm. then I have the league after that, and I'm gonna sit there and probably jot down a list of all of them, and we're gonna take it all the way back to <laughs> to Mario Brothers with Bob Hoskins and John Lucas. I'm gonna just kind of talk about this stuff. So I was gonna say I was a little bit shocked that the uh, like the OG Mortal Kombat wasn't at least mentioned in some breath, whether for hilarious purposes or real purposes. For what to the viewer? It's it's the middle of the road for me with that one, and I'll and I'll explain why. I know that shit was horrible. It was better <laughs> than the new one. Yeah, not saying much. It is really honestly not saying much. It's I not. don't think we really have too much else to add on this episode. If Obviously, if you're watching the show, keep doing this. This show is absolutely phenomenal. I will say I love the fact that they are including sign language a lot more in television now because I thought it was nice that they included it in The Mandalorian when they did it for the Tusken Raiders, and it's nice that it's being brought on here for The Last of Us. Well, and I don't know if that was a game to this or they just threw it in there. You'd have to let me know, Will, but... I mean, with all the characters, I can't remember about the sign language part. I remember certain things that stick out. Like, again, they were actually in, like, Pittsburgh or something, not in Kansas City. So there's things that change and stuff like that. And, again, I have to go back and replay some of this stuff. Uh, I haven't had time because I've been traveling. I'm in Hawaii right now. So uh, I haven't been able to go back and play through my recaps and stuff. But uh, as of right now, uh, everything has been kind of on point with the game. So... I wouldn't be surprised if it's still in there or if it wasn't, but I kind of blew through some of this stuff. I'm remembering the bigger parts. Say so when we get down to the last couple episodes, it's really going to shine. I think. How many episodes is this, is this supposed to be? I'm That's a fantastic think, question. I'm thinking nine is ends before the Mandalorian starts, and the Mandalorian yeah. drops March third, March first or third, one or the think. other. Yeah, it's, it's right around that time. They may have a cross at, at some point, but either way, uh, again, it's really good. And I think that with the last episode is going to be like one of those thicker episodes, maybe even an hour, hour and a half, you know, episode to kind of close it out. So, I mean, if they keep it like this, then I'm good with an hour and a half. There was not a dull moment throughout this entirety of this episode or any of the episodes I've watched thus far. I, I got a question. Anybody else would have just pissed their pants? The minute that truck fell and all them fucking monsters just came out, I would have probably probably peed on myself. They sat for entirely too long when that truck started sinking and then watching them sit for too long. They sat for entirely too long. Mm -hmm. Like Y'all should be moving right now. The minute that truck started started dropping, you should have been in your cars. Mm-hmm. They immediately just started firing. There was some crossfire going on. Like it was just like y'all, y'all weren't ready for this. And now Kansas City has fallen. Just and like they're gonna that, do in the Super Bowl. <laughs> there's your bold prediction. We'll see how that pans out. Looking forward to watching that this Sunday. But be sure to be subscribed to our channel for any hey. further content. You'll be seeing me at 3 a.m. for my hero academia, and you'll be seeing, be us seeing you no, three later on for some more amazing content throughout the week. You know, Sprint with Will and Back founder to of Tony. We will see you guys 
in the next episode. Holla! Iron Man still sucks. Iron Man's the greatest. I don't care what you say. <laughs> I, nope. Nope. I love Nope.